Of all the sales faux pas that you can make, one of the most common is going into the selling process and focusing on the wrong things, not listening and not developing that feedback loop with a prospect so that you understand what's piquing their interest, what their main concerns are. Now, this is a very common error. Lots of people make this error where you go into the selling process, right? You sit down with somebody, you're going to, you know, you're, you're demoing them, right? You're talking to them about their business, about what their needs are. You're, you know, getting a picture of what's going on, what you're going to sell to this person and not listening. First of all, not listening where you have an agenda, right? Your demo is point A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You've got this whole thing lined up in your head where you're going to go into this process and you're going to pitch them. The problem with that is, and the problem with thinking like that, is that you go into this process and you have this really clearly defined plan that you're going to execute. And because you're so focused on your plan, you're not listening and figuring out what interests this person. What do they, what do they need? What do they have in mind? Many, many times this happens. An analogy that I always draw is like, it's kind of like if I go into a restaurant, I'm interested in the steak dinner, and the waiter or waitress is going to sit there and talk to me about the mashed potatoes and the coleslaw or whatever, right? Yet not tell me about the steak. They need to sell me on the steak in order to get my business, right? Same exact situation when you go out and you pitch digital services. Every single client, all of them, have different uh, key points, key selling points, right? But they generally have a constellation around ROI. You never go wrong talking about the return on investment. However, if you're going to talk about the return on investment, you need to focus upon the return on investment vis-a-vis -vis whatever really interests that person. You'll have situations where you're going and selling SEO, for example, and you sit down with your prospect and you start talking SEO with them. And their whole mentality is SEO means content creation or their whole mentality is SEO means link generation or SEO means X, Y, or Z. They've got some kind of a concept preformed in their mind. What you have to do in order to get your message across clearly is go to that point that interests them, right, and talk about that first. Now, you may talk about it in the sense of, well, you know, link generation or link dropping that used to be a big thing, but now X, Y, and Z are the big thing. Or if it were websites, their concept of a site might be, I mean, people have concepts that range, but they might be thinking storyboard. So when you're talking to them about a site, their mindset is all about the design of the site and how we're going to develop page A, B, and C, and D, or their idea of the site might be we're going to get sales through it, leads from it. Whatever their main point is, when you're probing and you're having that conversation with them, it's going to come out. You're going to see that they light up, that they have interest. So when I go into a demo process, the first thing I do before I even begin my pitch is talk to them about the service that we're discussing today. Get an idea of the areas that really are going to hit home with this person. Get an idea of what they want to hear about. And that point might be, you know, superfluous. It might be nonsense. It might be meaningless. But whatever that point is, I want to first get that out of the way. And with that out of the way, then I can go into my demo process and really start to paint the big picture for them. That's really what this is about. You know, don't sell the side dish, sell the main course, but sell the main course by leading them away from whatever, you know, direction they're going into that's, that may be incorrect. Or maybe it is correct. Maybe they do have a real strong understanding of web development or of SEO or of whatever your service is. And if that's the case, what I want to do there is I want to talk to them about, you know, maybe more technical stuff. Maybe I need to modify this entire demo. Maybe I need to skip parts of the demo. You know, really this speaks to having a plan that's flexible. If you go in with an inflexible sales pitch and you're just trying to run through things, you never do really well. You're never going to, you know, really become a superstar salesperson if that's what you're doing. Anyhow, I just wanted to do this quick video really to cover, you know, something that I see going on a lot. I see a lot of people doing this. And, you know, when I get into conversations with members and resellers and stuff, and I'm talking to them about what's going right, what's going wrong, you know, and I, I talk to them about their demos and stuff, especially when they do demonstrations where they've recorded their demo. That happens, you know, some of the time, especially now with like, you know, Zoom.us, Zoom, you know, screen sharing. You know, it'll do a recording of the demo and people will show me demos. And sometimes I have the free time to look at them. I go through them and I say, here's where you went wrong. You know, this person was talking all A 
you were talking all B, and you ignored everything that person said. Don't be one of those people. Modify your demo to fit your audience. Get out there and sell like crazy, guys.